Connor, Connor, I've got a brilliant opportunity, my friend. My friend, hello. Oh, hello, it's been so long. Uh, I mean, what, it, was, it wasn't since the whole um, diamond inflation instant since I last saw you. Uh, don't back away from me. I've got, I've got more fantastical adventures planned. You want to you wanna go on them, right? Don't you? I've got a lovely bed here. I'm all set up. I don't want to go on an adventure. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Um, this is disgusting. It's a revolting monstrosity of a house. Don't you crave for more in your life? It's like I've got a lovely farm. Look at my farm. It's disgusting farm. We don't need farms where we're going. Or maybe we do. If you're skilled in that, we actually do require you. Uh, where we're going, it's a land of wonder, Connor. An untapped native continent. I found it. And it needs people like you to come on board and to, to work for me with fabulous prizes to be won. Okay. There's, there's no right. drawbacks whatsoever, <laughs> excluding your life. There's no drawbacks, no losses. You couldn't lose anything beyond your soul. So come on. You know you want to. I'll go with you. I'll go with you. Good, good. Good, that's it, that's it. Now hop in the boat. Uh, we're going to need to find a bigger boat because there's many people just like you wanting to sacrifice, sorry, I mean, pledge themselves to the crown. Yes, now I might look a little bit wounded and shot up, but I just had a run in with the Spanish on my way here. And I'm telling you, they're, they're not on board with what I'm doing. In fact, most humanitarian agencies aren't. But where we're going, there are no humanitarian agencies, Connor, and we can do anything, absolutely anything. Anything for you. Exactly. That's the kind of blind loyalty I need in a faithful companion. All right, now get in the boat. All right. 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 Onwards with adventure. It's off in this direction, probably, I think. Uh, around this bend, maybe. Uh, do you have a map? I haven't, I haven't got I, it. I have some paper. I don't have a map. Well, that'll have to do. One eternity later. Ah, oh, we've arrived. My faithful companion, I never doubted you wouldn't survive the 14-month voyage and the inevitable scurvy and cholera and all the other things that I failed to inoculate you for. We've arrived on our brand new glorious continent, an untamed landscape with fabulous riches, but it of course lacks a population. And that's where you come in, my friend. None of the crew made it, though. We need a new crew. Well, we will, but luckily that's what Patreon and loyal subscribers are for. You see, where we're going, we're going to need a workforce. But sadly, due to the laws of the space-time continuum, once that workforce dies, it's gone for good. We're on a hardcore server after all. But this, of course, creates an issue. Because what happens when one workforce dies? Well, we need to import yet another workforce. And that's when your children come into the picture, Connor. And your children's children. And their children's 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 children. We need all of them to go into the coal mines and to dig and do exactly as I command them. And of course, if they rebel, well, that's where you're going to come in. You're going to have to kill all of your offspring, okay? And the best thing is, once they die, they can't come back. That's right, one life on this server, that's all you get. And you best make a name for yourself, because that's all you're gonna get. Right, let us make landfall and build me a mighty palace. There might only be one worker who survived the voyage, but it's just going to have to do. And to think they said we couldn't do it, Connor. They said we were mad. We didn't bring enough supplies, education, or anything like that to set up an entire new civilization. Well, now look at them. They were absolutely bloody right. We've only got bloody potatoes, and not even enough potatoes for all of us. Only for gonna, potatoes. Gonna go hungry. Well, some of us are going to go hungry. Some of us. Anyway, so what I'm actually here to announce with my lovely friend Connor, because he's been helping me make this for the last several months now, is we've got a brand new server coming. It is a 100 player strong hardcore Minecraft server, which will be opening up this Saturday, mostly for Patreons at first, but then of course as people die, people need to fill up those slots, and so on our Discord we've set up a automated lottery bot, where basically as people die, new people will immediately need to be whitelisted into the server using our handy dandy lottery based system. I know it's brilliant. So yes, effectively how this entire economy will work is that there is no PvP, except in specified gladiatorial combat arenas, and you only have one life. Your death is very important. You could die to a zombie. That's it, you're gone for good. But we're going to be streaming this for about, oh, I'm going to say maybe six or so hours this Saturday. And hopefully we're going to see some glorious and lovely things being created. Not limited to gladiator arenas, maybe the occasional Hunger Games. We'll see, because players need to survive, but also follow my arbitrary rules. If they don't follow my arbitrary rules, that's fine. They'll simply get punished by the natural judicial system, which will be set up by myself. All rules must be followed, including such 
such strange ones as peasants may only carry 12 potatoes at one time, and only players of the nobility ranks and higher are allowed to eat anything other than rotten flesh. All those rules and more are yet to be discovered in the fantastical server. I'll include a link in the description to the live stream for when it goes live so that you can set yourself a reminder, and also a link down to the Discord, and of course Patreon if you want to support this crazy operation which we've had going for a while. There will be an entire world to explore, ladies and gentlemen, and of course a lot of tea to be found. We have a very complicated class-based structure, but this entire server is effectively just a vanilla hardcore experience beyond all of the RP that is going to be going on. I'm trying to basically livestream and create a glorious story of all of our intrepid survivors, aka you, the members of the community, trying to survive under the totalitarian regime of me and this incredibly harsh landscape we're going to be throwing you on. Each week we'll have various challenges and wacky things going on in the background, but don't worry, on our first week we'll keep it nice and simple and eventually amp up to our players having to try and survive the actual apocalypse. The server will only be live whilst the live streams are going on. We'll probably see a steady flow of players as players die and players make a name for themselves and are remembered in terms of memorials and just being promoted to positions of power on the server. As much as possible will be run entirely by the RP of the players and it should be absolutely glorious. As I say, everyone on the server only has one life, excluding myself of course, so the actual impact you'll have on our world and our story is entirely up to you. If you want to try and break the rules of the server, then by all means go ahead, but seeing as you're only able to have one account on the server and only one life, don't be surprised if our judicial system quickly wraps you up and another player sentences you to capital punishment. All these things and more are yet to be discovered. And best of all, if livestream formats aren't for you, then don't worry because we'll edit down each week and upload it to YouTube. And provided the events go nice and well, I might even consider bringing in some wackier guests on board like other famous Minecraft YouTubers like the legendary RT Game, who I'm going to probably try and coerce into the server with plentiful potato crops, but we'll have to see how that goes. So the way it works is in order to get onto the server you need to be whitelisted, and in order to be whitelisted you basically need to win the lottery, which is entirely an automated system by the bot, where basically you go to the bot and follow its instructions, which are basically DM the bot your Minecraft username. Your username will then be added to a list, and we can basically pull as many winners as we like from that list, and those people will be messaged the IP, and they'll automatically be whitelisted onto the server. Now when of course players die and we need to bring new players in, it will be the patrons that we go to first in order to fill those slots. So even if you don't make it into the first wave of 100 people, you will still definitely get a better run at getting into the server than anyone else. I'm not going to set up a system where basically the more you pay as a Patreon, the more likely you are to get into it. That's not really something I'm interested in. It's entirely a case of whether you donate $100 or $1 and you join the server, you're going to be treated the same. In fact, you'll even be treated the same as someone who paid nothing and just randomly won the peasant lottery in the random chat of the Discord. Because once you're on this server, you are the same as everyone else and it is entirely up to you to make a difference for yourself. If you want to be known as a good person, then you will have to do good deeds. You will have to give people food. You will have to help them look after them. If you want to run away and be isolated and do stuff entirely by yourself, then by all means you can give it a try. But we will have players in our civilized communities start hunting people after a certain time who are not involved in our main civilization. There is no money in the game. There is only bartering. There is no power in the game beyond the ranks which I can bestow you as the king of the server. And if you want to get those ranks and get the increased benefits and rewards which come with those ranks, then you need to definitely make a name for yourself in the community and give me a reason as to why you're actually deserving of, say, becoming a gentleman or becoming a policeman or a lawyer. Someone who can uphold the arbitrary laws that I put into the land and dispense swift justice upon all of the peasants who don't agree. Everything in the server is going to be built by the players, from the courthouses to the jails to the arenas to the taverns to the farms. All of it built, managed by the players, for the players. What happens when someone dies? Well, hopefully, if someone remembers them fondly, they might even leave them a gravestone. But most importantly, if you die, you'll have left an impact on myself, the story at large, and hopefully, the many players to come after you. So you can hop onto the server, make some fantastic friends, and I'll be here to beat you with a stick when you do something out of line. We've been working on the server for probably about an entire year now, and it's nice that it's actually able to be up and running. And seriously, a massive thank you to all of the patrons who've made this possible, because that has taken us a stupid amount of money to be able to actually build a server where we're able to have 100 
100 players and still only operate on a ping of about 20, which is absolutely insane to have hundreds of different players running around and absolutely no impact on the server whatsoever. I'm exceptionally proud of the work that we've managed to do and all that's left is to flood it with the fantastical stories that you're going to create. Now, of course, if you have any questions or comments or even ideas as to how you'd like to see the server run or maybe you have some events of your own that you'd like to see thrown into the server, then hop down into the comment section. We have some pretty crazy systems set up and we can do just about anything. We have some very advanced things running behind the scenes, meaning if you want to recreate the entirety of the movie Death Race from the perspective of Minecraft peasants running around on pigs, then we can entirely give it a go. You know, it'll probably even be a better blockbuster than the actual Death Race. Anyway, that's all from me today, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to leave you with hopefully some very strange clips from the behind the scenes of what it takes to record one of these very high production value trailers and also a little bit of when we did the stress test for the server because what was necessary was to get 100 people onto a server in a very short period of time. Consequently, chaos ensues, especially when some of my moderators start giving questionable items to the peasants. That's the last thing you want to do and definitely something that's not going to be happening on the actual server. Anyway, enjoy ladies and gentlemen. I'll see each and every one of you in the next one. Have an absolutely lovely day and goodbye for now. Well, some of us are going to go hungry. Some of us. I'm sorry, my faithful number one. Wait, you're my number two, actually. I've run an inventory. <laughs> <laughs> there's only uh, there's only one potato. And whilst I have got full hunger bars, I'm a very peckish individual. And you're looking very moorish. Oh, sh**. We turned off PvP. <laughs> 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 well, that's the world we've got out here. There's no PvP. <laughs> Once that workforce dies, it's gone for good. We're on a hardcore server after all. But this, of course, creates a bit of an- I'm stuck in a bloody fence. <laughs> <laughs> we've got the bloody tools we've used floating there in the water. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, this uh, hideous hut that's like half brick, half beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Why have you spawned this in? They can't survive this. They can't, they're just peasants. They, they have no way of defending this. Ood, get rid of the bloody never portal. Get rid of it. Oh gosh, that does not sound good. They're not ready for this, god damn it. They're just civilians. <laughs> you even killed me. F in the chat. You killed over a hundred people! We're down to eight! 